My name is Colin McKenzie Rutherford. For years, this has been the only glimpse available to the public of Canadian hostage Colin Rutherford. A shaky video of the accused spy posted on the internet in 2011. I was apprehended on second day after uh, arriving in Ghazni. How were you treated by the Taliban after you arrived? I was treated humanely. In 2010, Rutherford went on a two-week vacation in Afghanistan. He was a 26-year-old Canadian with an interest in history and architecture. I dropped him to the airport, and that was the last I heard from him. At one point, in frustration, his family asked his captors to contact them directly. Their anguish growing. Colin, if you can hear your mother's words, I just want you to know that I love you very much, and I'm doing everything that I can to bring you home. Lieutenant Colonel Amarine has raised concerns about hostage recovery efforts to Congress. Last June, there was a clue to Rutherford's whereabouts. His name mentioned in a U.S. Senate hearing. Colin Rutherford, Josh Boyle, Caitlin Coleman, and the child she bore in captivity remain hostages in Pakistan. What interesting you in Afghanistan? Uh, histor history and historical sites. When the Canadian government announced today it had secured Rutherford's release, it gave no information about where he had been, where he is now, or how he had been freed. A statement, however, did offer what were termed heartfelt thanks to the government of Cotter for its assistance. Cotter regularly acts as a go-between helping countries free hostages held in the Middle East. The Rutherford family is overjoyed and looking forward to a long-awaited reunion. But it is not known yet when Colin Rutherford, gone for so long, will finally return home. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.